the Cape's favorite sons. They've taken some time out of their training sessions to treat about 1,000 inpatients at Hrotuski Hospital in Cape Town. The Stormers will deliver Christmas care packs and some festive cheer to the patients who won't make it home for this Christmas. The visit also coming ahead of a cracker derby against the Blue Bulls in the United Rugby Championship, which is taking place in Cape Town on Friday night. Natalie Malchas is at the Hrotuski Hospital and joins us now. Natalie, uh, good morning to you. It is absolutely a wonderful initiative being taken by uh, these rugby players. Talk to us about what the mood is like, particularly for the little ones who are probably going to be very excited to see their favorite sports stars. Well, let me tell you, Polly, it's not just the little ones. Everyone is feeling really warm and fuzzy here on this gynae ward here in Grotteskir Hospital. On this particular ward, there are about 30 inpatients, which basically means that 30 people who might not make it home for Christmas in time for the Christmas weekend, which is why, as you mentioned, the Cape's favorite sons decided to pay them a visit, handing out care, pack and care packages and just spending some time with some of these uh, inpatients here in hospital. We know it's not always the best place to be, especially over the festive season. I spoke to some of those Stormers players a short while ago. Many of them said, in fact, their Christmas wish is just to beat the Bulls. It is a cracker derby this uh, Friday evening at the Cape Town Stadium, and there's um, quite a lot at stake for uh, the local boys. They're tied with the Bulls on the log at the moment, and they really want to get a victory over them uh, on Friday night. But back to the business here. Here in the ward, I'm now joined by uh, Kulula, who met the Stormers players a little earlier. Ma'am, how are you feeling about rubbing shoulders with the rugby boys? Oh, it was overwhelming. It was overwhelming. Quite, I was. I know nothing about rugby. I must say that, but I was very excited because I've been here for a long time, and I was like, oh, wow, it feels so good. You mentioned a little earlier that you have been here for a very long time, but you've gotten quite comfortable in the suites. Have you made friends? Have you um, really gotten used to the environment, being here for a few weeks already? Yes, I've made friends, with, especially with the doctors. They keep on coming to me, the nurses, everybody, people coming and going. I'm like doing the welcoming and everything. By the way, I'm on the suite, my darling. I have my own shower, my own toilet my own everything. It's quite nice. I'm at ease. You're at ease, but the situation as it stands, you're not sure if you're going to be home in time for Christmas. And how are you feeling about that and being away from your family, potentially? Um, it's quite sad, but uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I'm going to be at home by Christmas at least. But I'm, I'm, I'm really comfortable right now because it feels nice a bit. I'm used to people all that, but it will never be like family, like home. We'll keep our fingers and toes crossed for you. If you don't mind, let's dig into the care pack that you got a little earlier. What are some of the treats that they've shared with you? Talk us through what's in your bag here and how you're feeling about it. Okay, I've got marshmallows. Yummy. We're not going to sleep. Cup of soup. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to have a blast. Okay. Some toiletries. Okay, minus one problem for me. And some two-minute two minute noodles. Yeah. What are you looking forward to digging into particularly? The marshmallows, my darling. I, I'm really, I'm really going to deal with this. I hope nurses and doctors, you can hear, I'm not going to be friends with you guys with this one. Okay, you can ask for the biscuits. It's fine. <laughs> Could you let tell us, what is your Christmas wish? Often people say hospitals are dreary spaces. There's a lot of serious talk happening. What's your Christmas wish this year? Mm. Just to be at home. Man. And at least if I'm here, ne, people must be, all of them must be very jolly. Seriously, really having sad faces, the patients. They must be happy, man. I wish them all the best. All of us.
Thank you very much. Kulula Koli, as you heard there, let the mood be festive and joyous. It is Christmas time, and unfortunately for about 800 patients that the stormers saw this morning handing out care packs, they might not make it home in time for Christmas this weekend. But as we heard from Kulula, just keep a smile on your face. Keep things as light and upbeat as possible so everyone can share in the festive cheer. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. Thank you very much, Natalie Malchas, uh, spreading some festive cheer herself, uh, keeping the spirits of those who can't make it home this festive season. Well, it is important that we bring you that kind of uh, story here on Newsroom Africa, just to think about those who may not necessarily be in the home environment come the 25th of December.